Psalms and Proverbs from Monday, October 19th, 2020. Many names have a meaning and a purpose that are less arbitrary than we might think. Virtually all the names in the Bible have a distinct meaning. So too do the letters of the Hebrew alphabet. Psalm 119 is an acrostic of those 22 letters, with eight verses for each letter. Bet is the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Bet is the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet, signifying the number two. Bet is the first letter of the story of creation, starting the entire Torah or Bible. Bet represents the beginning of duality, with the one creator bringing forth a created world so that there can be both a giver, the creator, and a receiver, the created world, for the creator to bestow upon. This creates a dynamic leap from absolute oneness to the ability for there to be two. It also creates the possibility for all duality and opposites, yes and no, hot and cold, man and woman, up and down, etc. Psalm 119, verses 9 through 16, New King James, Meditations on the Excellencies of the Word of God. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. With my whole heart I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies, as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts, and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Proverbs 7, New King James, The Wiles of a Harlot My son, keep my words, and treasure my commands within you. Keep my commands, and live, and my law is the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call understanding your nearest kin, that they may keep you from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words. The Crafty Harlot For at the window of my house I looked through my lattice and saw among the simple, I perceived among the youths, a young man devoid of understanding, passing along the street near her corner, and he took the path to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And there a woman met him with the attire of a harlot and a crafty heart, she was loud and rebellious. Her feet would not stay at home. At times she was outside, at times in the open square, lurking at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him. With an impudent face she said to him, I have peace offerings with me. Today I have paid my vows. So I came out to meet you, diligently to seek your face, and I have found you. I have spread my bed with tapestry, colored coverings of Egyptian linen, I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until morning. Let us delight ourselves with love. For my husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him, and will come home on the appointed day. With her enticing speech she caused him to yield. With her flattering lips she seduced him. Immediately he went after her, as an ox goes to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks till an arrow struck his liver. As a bird hastens to the snare, he did not know it would cost his life. Now, therefore, listen to me, my children. Pay attention to the words of my mouth. Do not let your heart turn aside to her ways. Do not stray into her paths, for she has cast down many wounded, and all who were slain by her were strong men. Her house is the way to hell, descending to the chambers of death. All right, and the link is, links are there if you want to check that out. So give us a thumbs up and click subscribe and share with a friend. All right, and uh, leave a comment, question, prayer request. Always glad to hear from you. Always glad for your prayers and support. So have a good day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.